Okay, so I will, I'm gonna be tanned. Like, the sunlight is so strong on my face. I'm gonna be tanned in not less than, not less than 15 minutes, I think. Hi guys, how are you all? I am having such a nice day and I should come up with something that is really nice, helpful and eventually will get you a better skin. So I am shooting in direct sunlight and I have nothing on my face. So I am gonna tell you what is my daytime routine and what is my nighttime routine, how I mix my vitamin C with a lot of things like uh, collagen with niacinamide, retinols and breaking up a lot of myths that are underlying over there saying that uh, niacinamide cannot be used with vitamin C so AHA, BHA is cannot be inculcated in the skin with all the other active ingredients so let's get to the video I hope you guys like the video also if you are new to my channel I am Shruti Keerthi and I make all the content related to beauty, fashion, travel and stuff so yeah let's get directly into the video so the first thing that I use in the morning is this uh, Revital Lift by L'Oreal this is actually very great if you have a combination skin, dry skin or oily skin so I just usually take two uh, three dots and just go to pump my face like this okay this is what I actually do and the second thing that I actually do is, uh, you know, going to a serum. So basically, I use two serums that I have over here. The first one is Kunkumati Serum. This is it. Having a closer look. And the second one is this Vitamin C Serum. This is uh, this was gifted to me by uh, Clovia Botanica and this vitamin C serums has all the natural extracts. I'm gonna tell you it has aqua, xanthan gum, uh, zinnia, vitamin C, high hyaluronic acid. High hyaluronic acid is so good. It is an active ingredient that helps you with acne prone skin. It also helps you to radiate your inner glow and also suppresses the non-natural ingredients and all the dark spots, wrinkles and everything. Vitamin C when mixed with hyaluronic acid is a very nice combination. It also has vegetable glycerin, it has aloe vera, it has radish root extracts which is amazing. So I'm gonna use this pump this much into my hands and I'm gonna just pat it on my skin. So it is very important that we keep our skin very much hydrated and prepare it for uh, you know whenever the lockdown would be over and whenever we are gonna go out we should prepare our skin. So the next stop I use this um, face shop collagen this is really nice for your skin this actually prepares your skin provides a lot of hydration so um, you know a lot of people actually ask me something good in terms of providing hydration and I usually tell them that go with something that is non-sticky gel like texture and it actually soaks into your skin and provides you numerous kinds of moisturizing effects so this one actually fits my skin the last thing that i put as a skincare is the seal um, skincare sunblock so why do i have to pick this is because firstly it is gel like whenever i want to put a uh, makeup on this sunscreen it is not at all cakey not at all oily and does not stick to my skin and lastly it has uh, derived from 100 percent vegan and it has an SPF of 50 which actually does my work so also as as a proof I'm gonna give you another bottle that I've just finished up so this is a closer look of both the bottles I have finished up this one and I am using this one currently so that's it I am using this as my skincare routine okay so giving you a bit of what you actually can do while adopting a homemade remedy so just put a little bit of lipstick and uh, some little bit of um, you know primer and uh, k-beauty medium powder 
that's just uh, you know how I am and I basically do this uh, before I go into any zoom call or any video call from my office so yeah I am actually doing office job as well so this is what my mom actually gave me this is called a uh, basin and she has also prepared it with a lot of um, dried um, you know you do you understand dried orange peels basically what we do is we take the dried orange peels and we dry it on the sun while drying in the sun what do you basically do is you smash it up in mixy and then you put a lot of orange peels in it and that's when these powders are made so this is very natural it gives you vitamin c to your skin and is a natural ingredient for vitamin c so vitamin c is very much important even our skin secretes a bit of niacinamide and vitamins uh, from our cells and it is very important that we keep on taking vitamins in form of uh, you know some chewable medicines like I al always always go with zinc and vitamin C chewable tablets every morning and every night time irrespective of if, even if I have something or if I don't develop something this along with um, you know bits of uh, milk if you have very dry skin and uh, some bits of malai that is extracted from milk to milk se kuch malai type ka nikalta hai that is called cream you mix that cream with your the solution and you get good results now apart from that these are uh, the facial wipes that I have got from Miniso. You're gonna get a lot of these facial wipes in Miniso or any on any of those um, places where you get a lot of skincare products. So what these actually do is you can just go on with vitamin E oils, tea tree oils, and a lot of homemade oils, and just put down this uh, mask on it, and then you go. You can also produce a milk, a gulab gel and also a vitamins e glycerin facial mask it will give you so much of great great effects uh, let's start with the nighttime skincare clearly it's not nighttime over here it's bright sunny day a sunday morning over here and i'm gonna tell you what ingredients you can pick for your nighttime so giving you a quick um you know knowledge about this ole that i have been using i have been using both of these Ole. Since the day I got it in PR, I have been using it and I have also bought this second bottle. I finished up this bottle and I have got the second bottle of retinol. So what retinol and niacinamide? So this has retinol and niacinamide uh, in it and what it does to your skin. So niacinamide and retinol is basically called vitamin um, B3 and uh, vitamin a so what they do to your skin so niacinamide is also present in your uh, skin with small quantities they actually help in cell rejuvenation they help in eradicating all the dead cells in your body in your skin and it also brings about new cells and it also generates the new wrinkle free smooth and textured finish your, to your face so i would generally do is i couple it up with either the kumkumati serum or the vitamin c serum so that's just you know on my mood so i basically pick up this uh, kumkumadi timeless uh, serum or i pick up this vitamin uh, c serum so what this uh, kumkumadi serum has it has all the ingredients like uh, red gold saffron it has a lot of uh, pigmented uh, you know natural ingredients that are derived out of mineral oils and it ha it's generally says that it has no amounts of preservatives and you know all those non-vegan chemicals that I generally don't use so you can just pair up any uh, vitamin C uh, related uh, oil or any naturally derived uh, serum along with your niacinamide and retinol uh, moisturizer it just trust me it gives a lot of benefit to your skin you get up with a nice glow this uh, serum is so good the serum is so good that you can just pair it up with high amounts of moisturizing uh, surface so I basically whenever I use the serum I don't use this cream so you cannot use these two things together because of the high amounts of uh, 
you know because of the high amounts of niacinamide and uh, retinols present in them you cannot use these together you have to use one either the serum with the moisturizer or you use the moisturizer with another serum so what i generally do is i pick up this moisturizer and this serum which is over there this one the vitamin c one or i generally pick up this uh, serum and i use my collagen moisturizer so you know it is very much important that you actually just have that knowledge which product has to go with which so you don't generally have to pick up anything that will suit to your skin and start applying it all of the creams all of the serums have active ingredients in them and it is very essential that you go back to each and every uh, product and you read their ingredient if this ingredient is having a lot of uh, say oils you just go to google research about that oil whether it is good for dry skin oily skin combine it with all the other moisturizers that you are using the ingredients that they have and then you start to have a normal routine you know every skincare is different every skin is different and you got to be the perfect person who will identify your skin type and your skincare routine i am basically a combination skin i have a sahara uh, type of skin over here and very oily over here and these products suit amazingly well with me so um that's it guys that's it for the video i hope i was in a way um you know helpful to ping up that kind of skincare that you are aiming for i hope you all are staying safe whatever you need to do just bring all the essential ingredients and take care of your skin very important take care of your health and let's hope for a better tomorrow so yeah with this thank you so much i will be linking down all the other ingredients and the products that i've been using in my video down below so if you want to check please go on